Uh, welcome back to the hopefully conclusion of this epic war of massive proportion where the Russians have slowly dwindled their forces, basically wasted them, I should say, and now Prussia is basically winning again because, yeah, <laughs> the idiot, the, the the Russians are idiots when it comes to fighting. But anyways, we're fighting against the Prussians. We're destroying whatever they have. Um, yeah. That's, that's my life. <laughs> Just kind of like trying to destroy everything and trying to make sure that we have good amount of morales. We just destroyed them right there. And we're just basically waiting for who's going to win this out. I mean, after this war is over, we're all going to have really bad economies. Like, not just me, but also like the Russians, the Prussians, everyone. Everyone's not going to be able to recover from this really effectively. We're all basically damaged from this war, and we're all going to be, like, majorly, like, broken up by this. This is, this is the war that probably messed us a lot over. Um, while we're going into this, um, we can go into this, so, yeah, let's get some voting rights in, because I really don't want any, I really don't want any rebellions. I really, like, insanely don't want any rebellions. Um, yeah, as you can see, they're just not making, they're just not realizing their potential right now. The Russians have the biggest army, and yet they have the idiot, most idiotic troops ever. Um, I'm just trying to win this with a little cheatery by completely destroying my, uh, industrial base at this point, which is not too big, so it's not going to be too much of a big deal, but agitation dies down, that's good. Um... Yeah, Russia basically squandered all their people, and so now, uh, I'm just gonna go destroy some of their, like, little armies to try to see if I can get this. Send in the troops, or whatever. Say nothing. Uh, say nothing. I'm just gonna say nothing to that. Um... Man. Yeah, look at that. Three more armies three big armies and the Russians have none we've they've completely destroyed the Russians like the the Russians are gone I guess I should say but um we're not one sensor is doing a pretty good job about keeping everything together we're gonna go see if we can go fight some of these limited constitution everyone huzzah I actually did reforms I actually helped my people out we're gonna go see if we can go start fighting some of these guys, because these guys have to not. This has this has to be basically the mobile man. This cannot be the same army that's been fighting with Prussia this entire time. We have to strike back at some of Prussia's bigger armies. Um. Um. So do we want to be a pluralism? Uh, we could be a pluralism. I don't really care about it too much. Uh, release Nessu. Okay, so apparently. I think what happened was is that a little nation just broke out of broke out of Prussia, which is good. That means they're suffering a lot too. This isn't just us. But Yeah, we're trying to fight them. Okay, 2.0. Go that way. We're going we have to smash this unit while it's still weak. So that we can like it's 16 versus 28. This is a pretty big numerical advantage. Uh where is the tariffs or a free agent? Free trade is usually the best option. Uh, our trade must be protected from destructive, yeah. Okay. And let's see. Destroy, destroy them, destroy them. Do not give up, do not give up. Okay. Um, just keep chasing that unit. We want to destroy this unit. Because that's, that's about as much as we can do right about at this moment, is just destroy this unit. Um, but we're also dying at the same time from going more and more deeper into the lands. So it's kind of like a double-edged sword here. Uh, but I don't, I don't think we're going to be able to destroy this unit, at least anytime soon. I mean, we're slowly withering it down, but it's just not withering down fast enough. Uh, Moldavia apparently went something else. That's good. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we finally destroyed that one unit. Um, from there, what we're going to do is look at what Prussia has. It has one big unit left. Okay. Um... Russia's basically finished off the Ottomans, of course. How is America doing? America has basically finished off the British. That is good. 
that is good right there. So we might, we might actually be able to win over here too. Okay, but no, actually, I think it'd actually be a good time to build like another, a good some cheap men. Hmm. Now nah, we don't we don't want to do that. If we build some cheap men, they're just gonna die easily. We don't want that. So let's get back in our own lands, heal up a little bit. Actually, we could probably go destroy that one unit right there, and then go heal up a little bit. But from there, we basically have to worry about one gigantic Prussian army. Hopefully, we, we will encourage Jinduism, because we are Jinduists. We believe in the firm foundation of the Jinduists and their cause. Because we are Jinduists. Um, uh, I'm, more, I'm more of an interventionist guy, but if I have to choose between laissez-faire and the other one, that's what I'm going to choose. Okay, um... Okay, clergyman, there's enough clergyman in, our, in that region, so we're going to switch over from there, we move focus to, I guess, Bohemia. Wow, Bohemia, I didn't know, got so big. So let's see how many clergymen are there. Not very many, so that's very good. We'll start encouraging them there, and we're trying to, no, you don't get to move in right there. Divine interventionism, I think, the, fast, the faster, the faster than us. Right, and the Russians are again squandering their army. <sighs> they had so much army. They had so much potential. Alright. What we're going to do is we're going to do this. We're going to separate one unit. It's going to charge in. Then we're going to have a backup unit. So, that one unit should go fast. There we go. That kept. That's going to keep him there. Yeah, that guy died. Nay! Writing in a country. Limited citizenship. Uh... Like I said, I, I don't really care about either, but if I must choose, it's laissez-faire. Alright. There we go. That should completely destroy this unit. And apparently there's some immigration things and add to sphere things. Bremen apparently went something new. That's pretty cool. Okay, we got 33 men. Hmm. Okay, right now we could probably take on one of these big death stacks. We should probably do that now. Before Russia dies. Okay, before Russia does something else stupid, we should probably go do that. Alright, apparently, also, most likely, it's Lucia experiencing revolts. I really don't care about whatever happens in here, because it doesn't really matter in the long run. So, yeah, if they want to revolt, they can. America, you guys almost got it. Okay, so they're mainly winning because they have Masarova. Alright, they got 66% of Massavova. Let's see, what is Massavova? Oh, this is Massavova. Oh. Okay. So what I'm going to have to do is... What we're going to have to do, basically, guys, we're going to have to go siege back all these... All this land up here. To, to make sure that it doesn't get there. And by the way, I'm going to divide my units so it doesn't die. Yeah, there we go. Send in only half my troops. And then keep the other half here healing up. And there's a fine job. Oh dang, I, I can't get to that unit quick enough. Just sit right there. We're just gonna try to start. Try to start this process of teaming up. Because if we can if we can get back this land, which how many provinces do we need? One to gain 66. We're just gonna have to conquer these two provinces right here. We basically gain back this territory. And basically immobilize them. Bloody revolutionaries, dang it. They're coming after me now. So, yes. Most of most of the other army though has been crushed. That's the one thing I'm gonna have to say about this now. So let's kill that. Okay. You guys wanna move up there? Fine, I'm moving. Just attach attach my unit to here. I'm basically gonna move up with them. So that, so that we make sure we get what we need to crush them. We just have to make sure we get what we need to. We just need two provinces. And then this is fully not occupied. Okay. 22, 23. Safe enough bet to where I think I can probably... No, they, they could still heal a lot more. Of course not. National efficiency. Now I got three people I can kind of use. That's good. New ideology! What do I want? Well, it's new ideology. That's all I know about. 
I don't know exactly what it does, but it gives me some prestige. In terms of rebels, we have a couple good rebels, rebels forming. I can't really help it at this point, so just not gonna even try. Um, we could probably start a second clergyman effort, or we could start some more bureaucratic efforts. Uh, personally, though, I think we should start more bureaucratic efforts. Because bureaucrats, and once we get the bureaucrats in charge, we can then go worry about the education of the people. Okay. Let's go move in. Uh, move in right there, move in right there, move in right there. We're just going to try to see if we can speed this up just a little bit. Come on, move in, guys. Yes, you're going to the exact province I wanted you to go to. Hangover is apparently at war with... Oh, I thought they were at war with... But I wanted to be at war with... <laughs> I, I was hopeful there, guys. I was hopeful. Okay. You know, this would be a perfect time for France to declare war. Like, France, if you really want to declare war, this is like the opportunistic time. And I'm kind of hoping you do. Uh, we're still trying to invade over there, which is stupid. We have an... Russia, you have an entire army right there. You aren't using it. Uh, okay. Not even going to question it. Um, these two armies could probably go deal with that one Prussian army right there. I'm going to quickly siege back this. Because we just want... What, like I said, what we're doing right now is we're basically just trying to... Not fulfilled... Acquire fulfilled in 50% currently. Filled in 50%. Okay, good. So now we got... So now we got them moving backwards. That should stop giving them the advantage in that point. Um, yeah. Yeah, you stop attaching for a second. Stop. Go right here. We're gonna go smash this one army right there. Because we can. And you know what? It's going to weaken them. That means they only have two big armies left. Although, I've kind of given up. The Prussians seem to always be able to build up just enough men to block me. Um, we seem to be losing this, though. Yeah, pretty heavily losing. They're not worth it. Parma became a different person. Yeah, we're going to lose this. Yeah. We did try, though. Okay, let's increase the beginning right there. Hmm. It seems like my time has stopped. So, that means I don't actually know how long we've been going for, guys. So, um... We're gonna lose. Um, man, you know what? I'm I'm getting. Uh, America, please negotiate out of this. It's it's time for us to end it. Like seriously, I I fold. Like it's the Prussians beat us. We can't destroy them. <sighs> Mostly due to the fact that the Russians didn't do what they needed to do. I mean. We would have had such a good army if the Russians had just used it correctly. Like, group up their men and then go smash the little other armies. If they're coming after me, I'm gonna fight them. Yeah, they are. And Jacobson Rebels. That's it. <laughs> that that was as much as I could do, people. I there, there's just not much else we can do. I mean, there's really just not much else we can really do. All right, and the war is finally over. And with that, guys, I want to thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.